the episode of Cap That Film, episode number nine, we got Shout Y'all Sales Out. Tashi33. She Love. You know what I'm saying? They uh, got a podcast, you know what I'm saying? I was a guest on their shit, you know what I'm saying? Now they here. And you know he's kind enough to return the favor, and yeah. here we are, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate Parlaying it. and doing what the fuck we do. Yeah, and uh, so our podcast is called Freaky Fridays. Uh, we talk about a whole bunch of freaky shit, a whole bunch of ratchet shit, because we ratchet as fuck. I told y'all bitches the other weekend that I ain't no bad bitch, I'm just a regular ass. And I'm nasty a whole bitch. So that's what we talk about. Regular nasty. Nat- and I'm a nasty ass nigga, so we make it funny. You know what I'm saying? We that's just be on some real shit. That's, that's all. Everyday, so everyday sexual shit that motherfuckers don't want to talk about or too ashamed to talk about. Yeah. We address that shit because we don't got no cut card. No you know filters. None. I ain't never had one. I I tell everybody I'm an acquired taste. Goddamn it, you either like me or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it ain't no sweat off my motherfucking back. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You hear that? Facts, facts, so, facts. So what do you do? Like, what do you be on? Oh, we got Jody Hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. This is off the... Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, you don't have to say the name. He's like, here in the back. He's like, here in the back. He's like, here in the back. Jody Hustle, you know what I'm saying? Cut that part out. Just cut that part out. She asked me what I do. You know what I'm saying? This is about y'all right now. But I'm a musician and shit. True. An artist and shit. This is my company on my head. Okay. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm into a little bit of a lot of shit. He one of the niggas that's like originally part of my camp, you feel me? Oh, true, true, true. Go back. That's what's up, shit. Yeah, we've been doing that's this shit for a minute, man. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I got like my own little label and entertainment company if y'all ever need more content and shit. Yeah, and for sure. For sure, definitely, definitely. definitely. Been looking and if to, like, y'all are looking people. to stay fly, looking for the most exclusive drip, oh, it's for a shoe wear, clothes, anything, before the shit hit the store and it ain't gonna hit your pocket. Fuck with me. You got the Plizzy? Yeah. Plizzy. Yeah, I okay, catch okay. all that shit. Yo. Sure, I'm with that. Um, so, you got like a, like a, like a, uh, like I a mean, for that? Like a, like nah, a- I, um, actually when I was up, when I, when I, when I had a little bit of, a little bit of bread in the cut, I bought it to a shoe vendor. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So every, every, when they start making the shoes to be sent across the world and hit the stores and shit, a motherfucker hit me like, yo, this is this up next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the price, but if you get it at this price, Different you know what I'm saying? You know, so man. it's like yeah. I go straight to the motherfucking source. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I run this shit like off my little snap. Well, yeah, because like that's what the man. fuck it was. I get tired of dealing with the middleman. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm with that for sure. So I promise you, I am. I get that. I understand. That's why I run Yeah, that's why. Home. I cut off all the middle man shit by getting all this shit. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's why I've kind of been back and forth with the whole shit because I'm like, do I pay for studio time or like, do I just like get my you own mics and shit? No, no, for like podcasting. Oh, yeah, yeah, and see, yeah. that's another thing. I, and I swear to God, y'all niggas better not steal my motherfucking idea. But um, I want to do like a motherfucking podcast studio. I want to do like a podcast studio because a lot of most... Basically, like, and like, oh, yeah. well, nowadays, like, telling motherfuckers you got a podcast is like, hey, listen to my mixtape. Like, you yeah. know? I wouldn't yeah. even call this a podcast, though. This is more so just a real life vibe. Just a little real life vibe, social, a live action, social, goddammit, interaction. That's what the fuck I mean. I, 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 So a motherfucker really get to know the real you. Like, anything with black people, that's how we are. That's why we linked up, you know what I'm saying? Two black motherfuckers. I, I I definitely don't like to work for Mr. Charlie. That ain't my motherfucking style. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'm just being a buck. I don't oh, work man. for Mr. Charlie. I, I work a job because I do support my family because I'm an old nigga. But by my choice, I've never been a 9 to 5 type nigga. So I had to figure some shit out. Because we don't like that 9 to 5 type lip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I'm pretty sure. Don't nobody want to work a 9 to 5 by two. So, hell yeah. We got to so. do what we got to do. You feel me? Sure. So, like you say, take their family and feed them and make sure you straight. You feel me? Yeah. So, ain't nothing wrong with it as long as you get into the bag. However, you got to get to it. You got to be able to invest in yourself. So, we linked up like forward. too many. So I feel like too many, all too many times, like, just black people, just niggas in general. Yeah. It, they don't. We don't fucking, we don't appreciate each other. We don't applaud each other. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, because we all got you know that crap like, in the barrel mentality. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everybody but like, be like, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like That's I've been around, I've been around a little cool. minute. You know what I'm saying? And my mentality is different. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing shit, living life. Like, I rather fuck with my own 
or a van. I ain't got shit against nobody, but I rather if I'm if I'm gonna make it happen, I rather see my own make it happen with me than yeah. letting the motherfucker like ride my coattail or tell me, okay, well, I'm the money, so you gotta do it this way or no, nah, like I'm gonna invest in my people. Cause I, I feel like if I invest in my people and my people invest in me, I'm we tough. can't fucking lose. Can't lose. For sure. Nah, that's fair, bro. But that's the that's thing, that's the simplest shit like you that's said, why that's the hardest thing for people to get over. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why there's really nothing wrong with you, like you said, if you should pay motherfuckers for uh, studio time, you can still do that and do your own thing. You feel True. Me? I still True. got my own, I, I know how to do everything, but I still, uh, and and with other work for us, yeah. It's about helping each other. You feel me? And calling like, your skill, and yeah. if your as big as your plate get, we gonna start to outsource yeah, exactly. shit. So we might have to send it to a motherfucker and say, "Yo, yo, look, this is what we did. Edit this shit. Let us know what we done. Mm -hmm. We'll look it over." That's how you get motherfuckers on your team too. Yeah. You feel me? Like. And I really want to, like, be, like, somebody to, like, bring motherfuckers together. But, yeah. like, my problem is that I just don't know people. So, like... That's what networking about. Like, shit, you just asked me right there. You just networked for me. You yeah. don't even know. You never That's know all. who the fuck yeah, you every, is. Yeah, every, every, yeah, every day, every moment. Oh, it's just any time you interact with a motherfucker, that's goddamn it, you networking. For me, yeah. they come, that's why I feel like we work good. Because, like... Oh. I know how to network with motherfuckers because I'm from the street. Mm -hmm. I've been a hustler my whole life. Oh, so my business, my life, is dealing with different type exactly. of people on different type of levels. Level, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what I didn't cover or what I don't cover or can't cover through school, because I ain't stupid, but I ain't got the fucking college. I ain't got the degree like she I got. But I went to, you know what I'm saying? But, and but I dropped she out of school the, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like so you feel, but she could, go to certain little paperwork areas Psychology. and shit like that, she can handle that shit or got a better grasp with understanding and you know, me, me, I do my shit. But yeah, you know, it's, that's your mind. Like, it's all about that's, that's the mind. That's y'all got to put that yeah. together like that, though, because you definitely can work that motherfucker. Because you, I'll go to, I'll, you can put me in any fucking room. That's Matter of fact, you can put me, I, I tell motherfuckers all the time, you can put me, you can pick me up and put me anyway, give me, come back in 30 days, sure. and I'll be good. Exactly. <laughs> give me 30 days and I'll be straight. 30 days. Give me 30 two days, days give, and I'll let y'all know I need to go home. Give me, put, you can put me <laughs> anywhere. Put me in, you put me anywhere, you give me 30 days. It'll be quicker that's than 30 days if I get four wheels like up under. That's shit. the difference between the street smarts and the school smarts. Yeah. You know how to survive everywhere. Yeah. Know. I'm definitely not a street smart type yeah. of person. We gonna pop, I'm gonna polish you up though. Cause even, <laughs> even like when I met my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like my girl was a straight L7. I bullshit you not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am. But I mean, fucking with me. It's I'm like certain little shit I do. Hey, yeah. goddamn it, I ain't home right now. I need you to goddamn. I need you to do this, goddamn it. Look, I right? hey, I will give you a good life, right? Yeah, all right, well, look, I right, I'm, I'm running a little behind my tape, and if after a while, I call the phone and be like, she she already know what to do now. So I be I mess with her, joke with her all the time, like that's you know, also why hustler, I, don't I even can, know it. That's also why I can never be his bitch because <laughs> I'm like, listen, nigga. Don't do no illegal shit around me because I be accidental dry snitching and also I'm not going to go jail for nobody. Shit. Damn. Well, I, tell I ain't trying to be nobody's girlfriend. Nah, girl. my girl automatically know. I don't know. What he do, I don't know. I just know he's just my children father and we got so that you, seat. So you would tell on your man? No, not on purpose. Not on no, like the police questioning me and shit. I just be like, you know, yeah, like. Indirectly. Yeah, like, right. Yeah, like, oh, my yeah, nigga poked this nigga yesterday for like 50K. Like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, like, like I ain't telling people this. <laughs> 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 oh, so, uh, uh, absent mind and shit. Yeah, yeah, you got to shit. Like, definitely don't do no illegal shit with me. Right, definitely, definitely. But nah, nah. I think we make a. I'm fucking grown as hell, so she need me partaking in illegal shit anyway. No more anyway. My fucking need to level up, do they shit. That's how I feel. It's an illegal world. Like, it's it's everything. And, and listen, everything. It's, 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 the it's same only shit. illegal for us because we not rich. No, nah, it ain't even that. It's, it's what the fuck they do. Knowledge. It's how they do it. It's how the much. fuck they do. Exactly. If you if you know, I that when a motherfucker yeah, came over. They're saying if you want to hide any information from a nigga, a black person, they say put that book. shit in the fucking book. That's and I fact. bullshit. I hold that's fast to that. Like, because the same, a lot of the shit that I know on the legit side and a lot of the shit that I know on the crook side, I'll say this to anybody. Doing motherfucking 17 years in the feds made me a better criminal. 
Because I understand how they behind work now. That Everybody that, oh yeah, he ought to I know how. Because I'm in this motherfucker. Not only am I in this motherfucker with niggas that was selling dope like me, I'm in this motherfucker with niggas that was doing tax fraud. Murdering I'm in this motherfucker doing, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 illegal trading on the stock. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning all this shit and then I'm seeing how they could do the same shit I did without. You know what I'm saying? Without the fucking headache, and they and they still get to keep their money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get a little fine. Like when the feds came for me, they took everything and they gave me a fine. Yeah. When I'm dealing with a motherfucker who doing three years, and he just struck a motherfucker for eighty five million, yeah, and did. they tell the motherfucker he owing three million because yeah. they really wanted to know how the fuck you trick us. That's all it is. If you could trick them better That's than why they, they trick they hired Bernie Madoff when they found out, like uh, when they, they finally they found him. Yeah. Restitution. They want. They want to forfeit everything because all my shit was gained from illegal. So they take everything. These motherfuckers, they just hit him with a little fucking fine. You ever heard of Wall Street Trapper? Yes, I love Wall him. Trapper, Wall uh, Street Trapper, Earn Your yeah. Leisure, all of them. Yeah, I fucking love them. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, like, that's all I'm going to do. So, podcast, you, but it's a part my of the network, right? Same so shit. Check that out. Social proof podcast. I, for sure. I be in uh, all that shit, dying on my. I teach my kids that shit. How to interact with the police. What the fuck do do say? The nigga with the kofi. Uh, what the fuck is his name? What's that hairstyle? What's the kufi? A kufi. Uh, you know the, the yeah, joint the Muslims. Yeah, uh, like yeah. A, oh, the little whoop whoop. Yeah. Oh, Almost like a fez. Like, m most, a Sunni motherfucker, they call it like kufis. And then like a more, if they like in the more, like a nation, they call it like a crown. Or yeah, I know. A fez. If they like, you know what I'm saying? Same what shit. What is his yeah. name? I cannot think of his <laughs> name. But he be on um, Earn Your Leisure a lot, actually. The dark nigga. Uh, I don't think he's dark skin. He's like from like Cali and now. shit, and like he always be like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like, like that. Uh, I can't man, remember his name. Uh, like, I really, really like. I love. I mess with her and Lisa because they be getting in the depths into a lot of shit. But like, uh, yeah. Like I watch like a lot of that social proof podcast because they be bringing like. Everybody on there to do all type of shit, anything that you shit you won't even think about that you could do as an individual. Yeah. Thing. And they'll show you from the steps by steps like that. That shit crazy. Capital, you know, all that shit. About like, and then that's how I found out. Well, I found out about Wall Street Trapper really like a while ago because I follow like this wealth uh, motherfuckers, this wealth yeah. on um, Instagram and shit. Mm -hmm. And they be posting like a lot of niggas, wealthy motherfuckers and shit. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas like talking about. Like, I'm into, like, crypto and shit, stocks and shit. Right. Yeah, the dollar right. for the crash, y'all. Get your oh, money Oh, yeah, out. get y'all more. Pay the fuck. I tell any nigga that don't watch. Well, not all the news. I tell, when you watch the news, the shit they be saying, yeah. But that shit they be going across the bottom of that screen, that that be the shit that really be going on. That 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 shit in a little small. Uh, like, when you got, like, what is it, China? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, fucking yeah, Brazil, yeah. Russia. All these motherfuckers coming together to create their own type of currency because yeah. motherfuckers don't want to fuck with the dollar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I watch it all really that shit. Is, I pay attention uh, yeah, that's that's right. all that shit because if you could collapse an economy, you know what right. I'm saying? They going to fuck a motherfucker over. They said it's a scare tactic, though. Yeah. But, like, you should always invest. I don't like, know if this is scare tactic now, though, because they actually uh, taking pictures, shaking hands, like, yeah, we're going to follow through with this one. But, nah, like, it's like, this I don't shit, think you got like like to think about it. You got to think about the United Nations, nigga. When they all get together, they all shake hands at the United Nations. They do that shit. That, that shit pop. They go right to New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's all, it's like, it ain't shit but a motherfucking yeah. show. Then they, all they do is, it's yeah. for them. But what you should do, definitely, though, because we got shit like crypto. You should definitely invest your money in the crypto because crypto actually runs through all the currencies around the world. You feel me? Yeah. So you can have currency and honestly a little bit of everything. Every, yeah, from everywhere. Yeah, just See, like but you coins. gotta know what you invest in, and which crypto, which coin you invest in. I mean, it's, it's, it's all it's all the shit is a gamble. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying? It's just the bigger the gamble, the bigger the return. At you know what I'm saying? Day, if you got BTC, which is uh, Bitcoin, mm -hmm. that's like a worldwide. Uh, uh, currency, you feel me, that you can kind of use to trade with any currency. So this niggas in Asia that uses Bitcoin, you feel me? This motherfucker, like, you 
get there, like in Cali, you can pay for Bitcoin in some stores. You feel yeah, like? yeah. You, yeah. I was living in LA for three years. I just got back. You feel me? So like, I was using a lot of Bitcoin out there, just making transactions. You feel me? True. And it's not ran by the central banking system. Yeah, you. See, so, but the government is starting to start to try. They can't. That's why that's their problem. So they're just trying to come up with all these laws and stipulations to try to keep motherfuckers from using it because it's something. Once the government, once it's something that they cannot control. Yeah. You see, matter of fact, like this one bitch, what the fuck, the little white bitch I just seen a couple days ago, some doctor hoe, or whatever the fuck the bitch was getting, fentanyl, shipped in from overseas, distributed weight, the bitch a doctor pushing weight, fentanyl on the street. White bitch, she probably ain't gonna get shit about two years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because cause she know how to run they. Yeah, it's about how you know that's how you do it. It's how you it's 19 keys. You should check them oh, out. Oh, I know about 19 oh. keys. Yeah. He be, some of the shit the is a little... Yeah. Yeah, I know about him. He, uh, he cool. I'm just like... Uh, like <laughs> I just study like certain parts of shit, you feel me? And sometimes some of them niggas will get off the t topic, you feel me? That's why I say I really stick to niggas like for sure that Social Proof Podcast. Check that out for sure, you feel me? Because it's like, check. it's straight to the point, you feel yeah. me? Niggas ain't going off to the side. Like I fuck with Earn Your Leisure, but sometimes they be going off to they the side. They do be talking about me? basketball and yeah, shit, and like, I be like, nigga. Uh, trying to get that knowledge, you know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I like I, I like that shit. If I like to feed my brain, cause I like to know what's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I could. And that's what I think is cool about earning your leisure, Wall Street trapper, especially trapper, because yeah, that's like, my nigga for sure. Cause like niggas, at the end of the day, who the fuck really wants to listen about motherfucking the stock market? Who the fuck want to listen to a white dude? A white dude though. Who sure. want, who see, that's the thing. Who wants to listen to a white dude? But he related to like the street shit. He, so like I think he that's looked real, like look, look listen. Like when I was going to this, school, when I was going to school, there was motherfuckers who used to come out of school. Every nigga from the hood that lived in the urban community know that motherfucker to come to school and try to talk to the young motherfuckers yeah. about what choices to make. And not me. When I looked at this motherfucker, I could tell from the questions that were being asked to him, he never been to the hood. Exactly. He ain't been. So what the yeah, fuck yeah, I look yeah, like listening to this nigga? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna listen to a nigga who sound like me, right. who I can understand. You know what I'm saying? Like when I went through the shit and going through the shit that I done went, went through. You see what I'm saying? Like, like that's why when he got I tried to go to schools and shit like that to try to do that shit, but with my background, they weren't trying to fuck with me. But they was missing the fact that I'm saying I been through it. Right. When I start talking. They gonna realize this, so they ain't gonna come at me with the bull. I could probably help keep a motherfucker from making a choice yeah, exactly. that I made. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You went through like it wasn't a loss; it was a lesson. It was a lesson. That's what Cause I tell life. every motherfucker in prison, I know I be dead. It saved my motherfucker like yeah, I'm broke and shit, and I had to. You know what I'm saying? I came on what 18 on my 18th birthday. When I came home. I was 35. You see what I'm saying? And you I ain't that shit. 18? Yeah. From 18 to 35, I ate that shit. So when I had to come home, I had to goddamn it learn how to write a check. You had to like damn. I had to learn everything. Learn everything. That yeah, you missed. And, like, and, like and that then that when I sit back and look at it, it's motherfuckers that I know who I went to school with who never did a bit never and liked it. Beat their ass. You hear me? I'm doing. I didn't. I didn't did it. I didn't did. You know what I'm saying? Damn near dub of my life and doing better than they is. I know motherfuckers still standing at home with their granny like you was with your granny. When we was in high school, now I'm...